<laughs> Jordan accidentally ripped his pants. Oh my god. <laughs> What's going on guys? We're back with another vlog at the river and if you guys are longtime subscribers of mine You'll know that I actually put like this drone shot in one of my older vlogs I think it was like vlog number four or five and basically it was like me flying the drone over this train and that's exactly where the train was Smurf gang. Alright. He's going first. Don't want to fall down off of this so we can get some quick things. Oh shit. I don't want to break my goddamn fall. Oh wow. Look how look how high the water rose. Last time we were here, this is this is literally right where we uh landed the drone and like lifted it off. We're about to climb up this little hill for the Instagram pics. Cause it's worth it. Ooh, this is like National View. My name is the Crocodile Faggot and I got killed by a stingray. From the what? Trail. What is that? <laughs> it's not that bad of a thing. Dude, look how look someone put no, me we all the way up there. Up, up to where? I don't know why I'm recording this, like we're fucking climbing like <sighs> what's it called? The Grand Canyon. We're literally just walking down a regular path. Whew. Like That's how you know I'm out of shape. Thank god. About to go get some dinner and um, buy this new camera. I need to make sure all my money's figured out and that I have like everything in there because a lot of it, I know I have like my tax return check, I have like a bunch of other checks. It's actually nice set today, so that's good. It's getting closer to summer. It's gonna be so nice when it's summer. Like summer is literally when like my YouTube channel like starts popping off because I can put out like so many videos. Like I know last summer I wasn't doing vlogs yet, I was doing like just Black Ops 3 stuff and I would upload like a lot. Alright guys, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. You guys are, if you guys are subbed to my channel already, you probably already know what this is, just because I've been talking about it in my past few videos, about how I've been expecting this. But anyways, uh, here it is. I'll give you guys a hint for those of you that are new. It has a lithium ion battery. But uh, let me open this up for you guys. Alright guys, so this is a Sony A6300 I've been talking about for a while. Uh, it's pretty expensive, I spent like a thousand dollars on it, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be worth it. Um, it's really small so it's easy to use. Like the baby, bro the baby brother of the A7S II, which is probably like one of the most popular uh, vlogging cameras that you see on for YouTubers. The Canon Rebel T5i, as you can see, better when I pull it back. But there's a comparison to that. So anyways, I'm going to be switching to this for the vlogs from here on out. This is probably going to be the last vlog on this camera, but I'm probably either going to sell this or keep it just because I like this flip out screen. This screen doesn't flip out, which is like the only downside, but probably going to buy an uh, external HDMI. Alright guys, so, alright guys, so I just switched to the Sony a6300, and uh, let me know what you think about the quality difference. You know, this camera, this I've been looking into it for a while, you know, those are the big like debate about like Panasonic GH4 versus a6300 when it comes to uh, 4K videos. Cause no Canon can't really shoot 4K. I just want to see a um a video where I talk about my camera settings for the A6300. I could do that. Just comment below, and I'll put that in there because I kind of use a mix of two big YouTubers' camera settings, which I like a lot. I've been doing a lot of video work um, for my school slash uh, work study. I've got some like interview stuff that I had to grade, and then I've got a music video that I'm editing. A part with the one for. Uh, for my one friend, I'm gonna be do I'm gonna be shooting another music video this weekend. The reason I picked the Sony A6300 was first of all the size of it. It's so small, you can walk around with it, and people just think it's like a digital camera, like you're just trying to shoot some like um, shitty pictures. But the quality is just like really, really good. And um, so the size of it is one. You know, you don't look kind of like weird carrying around this giant ass like DSLR. Two, two is the autofocus. Like I said before, the Canon Rebel wasn't like that. 
Three is 120 frames per second at 1080p. Like that's just so good. Like the thing about the GH4 that I was looking into is that it does the slow motion, like whenever you play it back in camera. So like it's already in slow motion when you put it into your editor, I'm pretty sure. Um, but that's pretty cool. But for this, like 120 frames at 1080 and like the low light is pretty good on this camera. Like, but um, I think this is just better for vlogging in my opinion. But leave your comments below. I'm not talking shit on GH4 or any other camera. Um, if you guys want to talk about it though and like the pros and cons, um, uh, the comment section is always a good place to just spark conversation, see what other people are using. Guys, right, so I'm going to throw in some slow motion cinematics now that I'm home, just so you guys can get a little preview of what's going to be coming to the channel now that I have this. Alright guys, so that about wraps it up for the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's going to be on the way. There's going to be a lot. There's definitely going to be a lot more because I'm just going to carry this around with me everywhere. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, comment if you did. And anyways, I'll see you guys later. More wine, more wine, baby, pour another cup.